really sudden burn too. I've expected your memories to return once you are free of the mind flayer ship. But your past is still an aching void. If you don't find a way to remove the tadpole burrowed in your brain soon, your future will be as blank as your past. Your head whispers vengeance. You cannot wait to slice your way forth, seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you. How much further can I go? You drink in the pungent corpse. Since you awoke on the ship, your mind has been cold and empty, but something stirs. With your hands close to this body, you know nothing of why, but you find a half smile flittering across your face. Oh. As soon as you delve into your mind, it is filled with flashes of a thousand different dead. There is something unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart. Seems like a good moment to talk. What are you doing? Well, that's honest of you. Don't do it again. I'll give you a pass this time, considering I owe you my life. And speaking of, how are we alive? I remember the ship. I remember falling. And then nothing. Then nothing. Do you have any idea no. where we are? I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. You want to stay together? We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. All right, let's go. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. Uh, it would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod. Uh, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. A few moments later. That's a good thing, Kipley. You were not armed anymore. Something just woke up down here. Let them come. They're also all undead. They're gonna dash. They're gonna try to get over this way. Yeah, that's that's fun. We consider that. Oh no, it's the manager of the dead. Hmm. 
So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? A uh, little spook by crawling out of the tomb a bit. No, oh, what are you? I am not the same as those thou hast slain, if that is what thou askest. Wilt thou answer my question? Yes, ask away. So I ask again, <laughs> what is the worth of a single mortal life? Mortals live to die, to be slaughtered. Some do. Yes. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. Continue on thy way. As if I were not right. here. But you are here. I then. must attend this place after so many years away. We will see each other again soon. The mechanics of fate would be difficult to explain to one such as thyself. Regardless, it will occur. Yes, yes, I have played this Cursed part before, so everything. I know where things are. But that's fine. It's totally okay. Let's go this way. I'm glad that every time you climb one of those, or like the fragged rocks or whatever, you don't have to make What's a that? climbing check. No hope of clearing this without a shovel. No, I don't have a shovel, do I? Whoopsie. You both twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone. But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we stop. Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. Critical success. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese. No? Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it! <laughs> cheese sounds good, though. You're more cunning than you look. I thought we had a fight on our hands. Yes, yes, well, we've already been in there, and I know what lies in wait later. So. You think it's dangerous? Zoru was right. Yellow is a toad, twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Hmm. I'm gonna go with this one. She's right. No one's safe if that thing goes loose. Not even us. Damaze? Enough. Lower the trap. Ready your blade. We'll just kill Lazelle, I guess. Ready. 
This is new for me. Man, this guy sucks. Now my question is... Finally. Nymessa. Breathe, Nymessa. You did great. Now come. We have a blast to investigate. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. Northwest. Look for Netty. Whatever. And mind the goblin traps. Unless you relish a spit roasting. Okay. With haste. I didn't know that that was like the end of her. If I had known that, I would not have done it. It's rewind time. A little safe scum, but I didn't know that I couldn't just revive her, you know? She's supposed to be a, like a key character, you know? Base mode here. Okay, I think we're good. Now, with this, I think we can do this, uh, dank crypt area much better. It's fine. scribes but no sign of a struggle hmm. What's that? yeah we'll look at that in a minute Get this all set up. Okay. Can I move the bodies? No, I can't. I can pick them up. Maybe I need more pockets. I can get the bodies. Hells. Something just woke up down here. Not what I meant to do.
neither of us have a shovel, so. Well, it might be worth a look. We can't really look at it, can we? Okay, so we are not multi-classing at this time. We're going to just accept level two. Um, as far as she goes, we're going to want to respec her out of Trickster Cleric as soon as possible. Um, but... Okay, so let me think here. So currently she needs wisdom, which I believe Druid also uses wisdom, or we could go with. Warlock, Sorcerer, or we can make her a, like, a holy warrior. We're gonna respec her anyway, so, um, we're gonna just multi-class her in to, uh, Paladin for now. We gotta respect her cleric. Her cleric uh, level. Because her cleric level kinda sucks. Um you. <laughs> That was fantastic. <laughs> Hope your soul is in good hands. Eh, <laughs> dumbass. You put me to sleep? Uh, you die. Isn't such a distant prospect. There. Now she has some ranged ability as well. Oh, boys! I'm back! She's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. Northwest. And be careful. Nymessa. Enough gawking. Get me down. Say please. Never. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Nice. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. And what exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gaith tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. Simple thank you wouldn't go amiss. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. Alright. You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. I'll trust your judgment, but I won't trust her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. You've a sharp tongue, elf. Would that your mind proved its equal. Half elf. I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp, 
One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin.